Let's look at the solution. I put, there's lots of different ways to fit them back inside with this one on the outside, but there's only one, well, variations on one way of getting this back inside. So when you first get these pieces, like that, they're kind of stacked in this way or some similar way. Um, whenever you're looking at a puzzle that is trying to get a lot of pieces to fit in, one of the first things I do is try and deal with the biggest pieces first. And this is something that um, I think is part of the key to, to getting it solved, and that's that if you put these pieces this way, look at the gap. See how much of a gap you have there? But if you put them this way, it's less of a gap there. The lid still closes, but you've basically been able to use more of the space. So that's what we're going to be doing. So instead of matching everything for this height, we're going to try and find things that match for this height, which is, as you can see, just a slight bit higher. And when you match for this height instead of this height, um, that's when the solution comes. So we'll go ahead and, and set these two pieces like that. We find everything that matches that height. That's that piece and that piece. We're also looking for them to match either the width or the length of this box. We'll start working with that. Um, now we want, in this case, to again start matching the width. So we'll put those two pieces in. We get this piece along the bottom that allows for that one to fit there and our redstone piece to go right in there. Notice that these pieces are definitely tighter fit together. We've taken all the little gaps in between and fit them into there. These two pieces here kind of can move around. I think the official solution has them like here. I'm trying to see. I've got the, the there's the official solution listed, and you can see it there. Um, I think the official solution is there. When I solved it, I put these two together. Um, and you can watch that in my official reaction slash trying to solve it video. Um, when I saw it, for the first, uh, saw it for the first time, I put them this way. Um, I think if you solve it this way, it'll work exactly the same. You could also have solved it like this. Like These pieces kind of can move independent, but these ones have to go in this order. We've got to um, kind of condense space by offsetting the pieces and matching them to the height and width of those ones. All right, so there we go. Let's try it. This is all gonna fall apart. Ah, I could I could sense it slipping. <laughs> I could I knew it was falling apart. I knew it wasn't gonna work, and yet I tried it anyway. Because I'm just stubborn. solution. I hope that was fun for you, watching us go through this solution, getting that redstone piece inside of the box. It does fit. I took a, quite a bit of time trying to do it on my own the first time, but definitely a ton of fun and a puzzle worth getting, a fun puzzle that can seriously keep people entertained for a long time and get frustrated for a long time. Someone might just throw the red piece away. <laughs> All right. Hope that video was fun for you. And I definitely hope that you grab a hold of one of these puzzles and try them out. You can also check out all the other puzzle box solutions that I had in this series of nine puzzle boxes. I hope that was enjoyable for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more puzzle videos. Have a wonderful day.